Hi, it's Yulti Carlson here. We're finally getting the latter two Rocky movies on 4K. Today we're looking at the sixth and final film in the original series of six Rocky movies, that being Rocky Balboa, which came out in 2006. I'm going to unbox this steelbook release and share my opinions. It continues the same motif as the others with these black and white photos and you know colorized elements. In this case, his gloves are colored red. There's the top of the backing card. Spine text, back of the backing card, back of the package with Rocky doing the classic Rocky pose in Philadelphia. The interior shot has Rocky and Mason the Lion Dixon going at it in the ring. We get the film on 4K at long last. And we also get a Blu-ray disc of the film. This is identical to the previously released Blu-ray from the older box set. Rocky's most challenging fight yet. When he loses a highly publicized virtual boxing match to ex-champ Rocky Balboa, reigning heavyweight title holder Mason Dixon retaliates by challenging the Italian stallion to a nationally televised 10-round exhibition bout. To the surprise of his son and friends, Rocky agrees to come out of retirement and face an opponent who's faster, stronger, and 30 years his junior. With the odds stacked firmly against him, Rocky takes on Dixon in what will become the greatest fight in boxing history, a hard-hitting, action-packed battle for the ages. I don't think people in 2006 were expecting another Rocky movie. It had been 15 years since the last one, and Sylvester Stallone was probably believed to have put the character to bed. But due to Stallone's dissatisfaction with Rocky V and how that turned out, even though I'm personally a fan of the film, he wanted to revisit the character one last time even though the character would eventually appear in the spin-off Creed films. Rocky Balboa is a movie not many people were expecting, but this one actually took me by surprise. I found myself liking this one a lot more than I would, considering it's a legacy sequel that came out about 15 years after the previous one. But it may be the most emotional, dramatic, and pack the hardest punch, figuratively and literally, of all the Rocky movies. It might even be my favorite of the sequels, and that's certainly saying something. Sylvester Stallone, of course, has made the character of Rocky Balboa his own over the course of the years, and this is one of the best performances he's given as Rocky. Here we see an older, aging Rocky Balboa, who, of course, is struggling with a deep personal loss, and, of course, his brother-in-law, Polly is never far apart. Polly, of course, suffering from some issues of his own and going through his own mid-to-late-life crisis. Rocky, of course, at this point, has quit the boxing business and runs a restaurant. Unfortunately, he's estranged from his son, who now has a job that keeps him pretty busy. He reunites with uh, little Marie, one of the old girls from the neighborhood where he grew up, who now has a son. And it's not long before he finds himself wanting to get back in the ring, wanting to unleash everything he has one last time against an able-bodied opponent. And Mason the Lion Dixon portrayed by real-life boxer Antonio Tarver, certainly makes for a great opponent here. A man who's very brutal and powerful in the ring, but his behavior, of course, has earned him the ire of many people. His press crew sees the exhibition bout with Rocky Balboa as a way for him to win back some of his favor. And the movie actually plays out very well. There's a lot of great drama here. I mean, it's not since the original you know, Rocky and Rocky II that we really had drama on this scale in the series, and the movie does it quite well. Seeing Rocky form something of a father-son relationship with the son of his old neighborhood companion, Marie, makes for some of the most interesting scenes of the film. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a Rocky movie without boxing, and the big final bout filmed at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas is certainly a highlight for the series. It being filmed in the style of a pay-per-view boxing match, which is something of a different story for the series, but a creative change I actually somewhat enjoyed. There's even cameos from Michael Buffer and Mike Tyson. Rocky Balboa is one of my favorite films in the Rocky series, even if it came out of nowhere and I certainly wasn't expecting it. And it's always a pleasure to revisit this one. Rocky Balboa makes its first appearance on 4K here, and this unfortunately is a movie that had a very unique shooting style with a lot of oversaturated, blown-out looks throughout the movie, and it's just not something I think's ever really looked great on home video as a result. Not to mention this didn't have a huge budget behind it. Those stylistic choices, of course, mean that this is never going to be demo material for any ultra-high-def home theater. But overall, I would say it does look pretty good, and it reflects the choices in the source photography. There are those few moments where the HDR does give it that nice little boost, 
This is probably the best we can ever expect Rocky Balboa to look, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The 4K Ultra High Def disc includes the theatrical cut of the movie that came out in 2006, as well as a new uh, extended cut of the movie, which actually incorporates a lot of the old deleted scenes. Don't expect a revelation here. It's literally just pretty much the theatrical cut of the movie with the deleted scenes put back in. Nothing here is really a revelation, and a lot of those scenes were left on the cutting room floor for a reason. So I would recommend you just stick with the theatrical version. And the Blu-ray disc included here is the theatrical cut only. You only get the extended cut of the movie on the 4K Ultra High Def disc. We do get several bonus features in here as well, and they actually ported the bonus features over to the 4K disc, which is very much appreciated. You have like one deleted scene that wasn't reinserted back into the film, some featurettes on the making of the movie, an alternate ending, some behind-the-scenes featurettes, and even a commentary from Sylvester Stallone. So it is a pretty decently packed release for what it is. Rocky Balboa is one of my favorite movies in the series, even if this director's cut isn't really the revelation you're hoping it would be. It's a good-looking disc. There's a nice supplement package, even if there's really nothing new here. And the film itself is one of the most emotional and hard-hitting of the franchise. So I can certainly give this package a recommendation. A brief disclaimer as well that the digital codes for Rocky V and Rocky Balboa, a lot of people are claiming that the digital codes are not working. So if this is the case, they might not be active yet. I would recommend holding on to them and just trying them a few more times over the subsequent few days to see if they finally work for you. Just a right disclaimer though, if you do buy the box set of the films, it does not include Blu-ray copies. If you want Blu-ray copies alongside the 4K Ultra High Def Discs, you do need to purchase the individual steelbooks. How about you? What did you think of Rocky Balboa? You think it's the best in the series, the worst in the series, somewhere in the middle? Where would you rank it? Comment down below and let me what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you listen a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.